Do you need an emergency gift box, but all the ideas seem ordinary? Then watch our new video of how to make a cool and creative prank gift. But make sure there will be no grudge afterwards. Mickey can't manage to find a gift for his girlfriend. Valentine's Day has come out of the blue. He is short on time, as usual, but there's still no gift available. A faded flower is way too common. Maybe a statuette? No, he gave her this statuette for the last anniversary. And what about this red candle holder? Wow, it's shining! But it was Sweetie who gave it to him for the previous Valentine's Day. Huh, there's so many things around, but nothing to give my beloved one. Even the big teddy bear used to be Mickey's gift to Sweetie. That's it, no more ideas. Maybe the bear has one, but the huge toy keeps quiet. There is only one thing left. He should call a friend. She's a girl, and she knows better what another girl may like. A gift emergency advisor will be here in a minute. My friend comes in the blink of an eye. Wow, she's got a ready gift. Take a piece of blue cardboard 15 inches by 15 inches. Mark each side every 5 inches along the edge. Join the marks. Your cardboard has been split into 9 identical squares. Take a piece of paper of the little square size. Fold the diagonal. Outline a heart half and cut it out. Place the template on the corner. Trace the top of the heart. Repeat for each corner. Cut it out. Score the lines using a knife. Make sure not to cut through the cardboard. Score the central lines of the hearts in the same way. Fold the cardboard along the scored lines. Bend the hearts inside. Take another square piece of pink cardboard, a bit smaller in size, and draw squares with four and a half inch sides. Cut out a plus sign shape detail. Put in the same shaped orange detail. It should be smaller in size than the pink one. Fold across the lines to make a box. Glue the pink layer to the blue base and attach the orange detail with gifts on top. It's an exploding box full of surprise gifts. Sweetie will certainly like it. Phew! Mickey is saved! Sweetie has no idea what she's going to get. Step back, daily grind. Mickey's bringing his gift. Sweetie doesn't know what's inside, but she definitely likes the lid. Draw a box pattern on a piece of color cardboard. Make cuts and assemble the lid. Hot glue the flaps and decorate it with a bow and a pom-pom on top. Sweetie takes off the lid and the box explodes! There's a whole feast waiting inside for her. The gifts have notes and there is even a flag garland. Place notes indicating which gift is where and decorate the exploding box with a mini garland. Cut out a small paper triangle. Fold scrapbook paper in half and cut out double triangles using the template. Glue them to a colorful string. We've got a funny miniature garland. Attach it to the opposite hearts diagonally. It looks totally awesome! Which surprise should I open first? Let's start with a small box in the center. I think the most precious thing is hidden in there. Wind a piece of fluffy wire around your finger and stretch it to get a spring. Coil another piece to shape a spiral. Cut a few smaller pieces off the wire and attach them to both sides of the spiral to make spider legs. Add a head and hot glue the spiral to the tummy. Take a small gift box with a foam ring pad and stick the spring with the spider into the hole. Put the spider into the box, press down the spring and close the lid. Attach double-sided tape to the bottom and stick the box to the center of the orange detail. Decorate the base around it with glittering tape. Sweetie opens up the box. 
But instead of a ring she's been longing for, there's an ugly spider suddenly jumping up. I just can't figure out if it's a gift for Valentine's Day or Halloween. Let's see what else there is in the box. The earrings look very cute. Hot glue pink plastic bows to earring stud blanks. Decorate a piece of white cardboard with strips of decorative paper. Make two holes in the middle and put in the earrings. Hot glue the back. Cut out a little box from thick paper. Fold it up and glue. Attach the 3D pocket to one of the box flaps and put in the earrings. I want to take the earrings out, but I can't manage to take them from the pad. What's wrong? Do I have to wear them with the package? Or maybe it's another of Mickey's pranks. Well, watch out, darling. I will give you a taste of your own medicine. As usual, Mickey pretends that he can fix everything. He's so funny. The fact that he has tools doesn't mean he can use them right. While Mickey is distracted, I take his players. Hot glue the tool. Nothing can separate the parts of these players now. I put the players back. Mickey takes the tool, but something's wrong with it. The players have just clung together. Is it St. Valentine's Day influence? Now the players will be together forever, and Mickey has to take a lonely screwdriver instead. Let's return to our exploding box. I'm going to check if the rest of the gifts are also pranks. What's there in a wallet? It's chocolate money! Take chocolate coins. Open one up carefully and take out the chocolate. Fold up a $1 bill and put it inside the wrapper instead of the chocolate. Cut out a small rectangle out of thick scrapbook paper. Fold it to shape a little wallet. Mark the height of the wallet on color paper. Cut out two squares. Make an accordion fold. Attach the two sides of the wallet. Glue a paper clasp to the flap. Attach the wallet to the inside of the box and put in the chocolate money. Sweetie unwraps a coin. It looks like regular chocolate. Okay then, but there's a real gift inside the second coin. Wow! A fortune is hidden in here. I can finally afford a fur coat. Or rather, a fur pocket. I'm afraid this money isn't enough even for a pocket. I'll never say my boyfriend has lashed out the money. That's alright. I may be as generous as he is. Spread a light layer of butter over a slice of bread and put a lonely piece of sausage on top. Cut the excess bread so that the sandwich fits the sausage. You need a little cup of tea to match this tiny sandwich. Now, the set is complete. Mickey comes to have dinner, but he can't figure out who's eaten all his food. He's got only a sandwich left over and a thimble-sized cup of tea. This is probably the way a dinner in Lilliput looks like. Mickey asks his girlfriend why the servings are that small, but she just throws a dollar bill at him in reply. As clear as mud, maybe we don't have enough money for a full-size dinner. Sweetie seems to be offended by something. What else is waiting for Sweetie in the exploding box? The chocolate candies look harmless. Let's try them. Take three chocolate candies. Open the wrapper carefully and make a hole in it using an awl. Put in some salt. Melt the chocolate with a hot spoon and seal the hole. Add black pepper into the second candy in the same way. Once the chocolate hardens, close the wrapper and hot glue two special candies and a regular one to the inside of the box. Decorate the base with pom-poms. Sweetie takes a candy and tastes salt instead of sweet. Then she tries another candy. But it turns worse! Oh my god! What are these candies filled with? Mickey shall never get away with it. Let him taste my special dessert this time. 
peppered coffee is a great idea. Break a red cayenne and rub it against the cup rim. Sprinkle some salt on sugar cookies. Mickey likes sweets. What's wrong with the cookie? It's salty! I'd better have some coffee. Wow, it's burning! My lips are on fire! Is it a fire-breathing dragon's dessert? There's one gift left in the exploding prank box. Cover lip balm with a coat of clear nail polish. Trace a container lid on scrapbook paper. Attach a funny label. Super glue a hair tie. Let it dry. Make a scrapbook paper envelope. Put in the balm and the hair tie. Fasten the envelope with a sticker. Attach it to the inside of the box with double-sided tape. Sweetie opens up the envelope with the lip balm and the hair tie. She can't stretch the hair tie. Then she tries the balm. It looks quite good. But she can't smudge it at all. She keeps rubbing it in vain. That's the limit! You've really done it, Mickey! Sweetie resents that Mickey has spoiled her holiday. However, he's completely unaware of the matter. They are nearly quarreling. Calm down! To prevent a tragedy, it's time for the crafty friend to tell it was her who has started the mess. She brings an apology gift. That's better. I hope there's no prank inside. Did you like the exploding prank box? Write in your comments which gift you're going to make your beloved one. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button and click the bell so that you don't miss a coming video on Troom Troom.